Hello, and welcome to today's Thought for the Day, for Wednesday, the 4th of December. The readings for today are Job chapter 5, Micah chapter 1, and Hebrews chapter 11. The title of our thought is, Therefore God is not ashamed, and is taken from our Hebrews reading. God? Ashamed? What is this verse saying? What is it about? Today's reading in Hebrews is that well-known chapter, chapter 11, the chapter of faith as we call it. We should all be familiar with the words that faith is the assurance of things hoped for, the convictions of things not seen. What are the things we are convinced about? Things that give reality to our future expectations, going far beyond the things we hope to achieve in this life. Verse 6 is often quoted as a powerful, personal challenge to us. Without faith, it says, it is possible to please him, for whosoever would draw near to God must believe that he exists and that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. It is sad that so few have a real genuine conviction that there is a God. And more than that, that we can and must have a personal relationship with him, leading to a totally meaningful prayer life. What a contrast with most of the Jews in the days of the prophets. They only had a relationship with him as part of a chosen nation and not in a personal sense. Nevertheless, they were proud of being children of Abraham, John chapter 8, verse 33, and this satisfied them. Is not this similar to Christians? For whom membership of a church creates a sense of relationship, yet as individuals, they and ourselves are without excuse if that is all our relationship consists of. The Psalms of David are outstanding. If we will meditatively read them and see the reality of a personal relationship with God that can be developed, and when we develop to the full, how wonderful it is, as David reveals in so many of the Psalms. Verse 13 to 16 in today's chapter cause us deep meditation. In the midst of naming significant men and women and the particular act of faith in their lives, we read, These all died in faith, not having received the things promised. Abraham is the greatest example of this. Such men and women of genuine faith acknowledged that they were strangers and exiles on the earth. Such people found it impossible to fit in with ordinary humans, although they might attempt to, as Jacob did at times. Verse 16 makes the point, but as it is, they desire a better country that is a heavenly one. Therefore, God is not ashamed to be called their God, for he has prepared for them a city. And that city is the new Jerusalem. See Revelation 3 verse 12, the heavenly city to be established on earth. Because of this, those with real faith desire something indefinitely better than what this world offers. A world which is empty of any vision of the future so that the people in it just live for the present. But those with real faith live so as to develop a real relationship with their Creator and the Saviour He provided. And as a result, God is not ashamed to be called their God. Make sure we all develop that faith so God can be called our God and not be ashamed. Thank you for listening to today's Thought for the Day. And remember, whatever you do today, do it all to the glory of God, remembering 
that the antidote to sin is to do good. Thank you and God bless. Thank you.